Now, thousands of Nigerians are engaged in aquaculture, also known as fish farming, for commercial purposes. But it's a costly enterprise and can fulfill the needs of the nation. So Nigeria does still spend millions of dollars every year importing fish. Well, experts say the government should encourage more local production by providing incentives and funding. Our correspondent, Ajek Mangut, has more on that story. Uche Moses has run this fish farm in Abuja for about five years. He says the high cost of fish feed and lack of government support have hampered his farm's expansion and his own ambition. For you to have a good number of fishes, it requires to feed them some months, like five, four, five, six months. And you can imagine when you are buying feed that is quite expensive, 26,000 naira thereabout. I can calculate them, you know how much you are looking at. And uh, as a farmer like me, I don't have that money. Nigeria is keen on improving its fish production as a way of ensuring food security in a densely populated country. The Food and Agriculture Organization says Nigeria has over 280,000 fish farmers, mostly producing catfish. According to Nigeria's Ministry of Agriculture, the total demand for fish is 3.5 million metric tons, but the country produces less than half of that, leaving a shortfall of over 2 million metric tons, a gap that's been filled through imports. Experts say the high cost of feed for the fish, mostly imported, the quality of fish that is being farmed, as well as a lack of much-needed funding for farmers is affecting production. We don't actually have those quality breeds that can that has traits to grow faster. So by, by that we, we, we tend to be producing the same set, the same lineage over time. Second one is financing. There has not been a very robust financing for aquaculture farmers by government. Many, many farmers are out of business because of feed. Once the cost of dollar rises, a lot of farmers cannot, they cannot afford it. Experts say the government needs to support farmers with better financing if it wants to make some headway in this sector. We need to incentivize that sector. Make that sector attractive. But okay, if you want to go into aquaculture, government is ready to sponsor, is ready to give you financing, maybe 50% through banking or through credit. So a lot of people will know at least they have government back and one thing that does is that it inspires people to invest more. Another one is, at least, farmers, they should be trained in feed formulations. So with that way, can, farmers can actually produce their feed on their home. There are signs the government is hearing the call. In June, it announced a partnership with the Food and Agriculture Organization that will help fish farmers access financing and provide feeds to farmers on credit. The plan is to increase fish production by an additional 250,000 metric tons in the coming months. It's a start, but fish farmers like Uche say even easier access to government finance can see them producing more fish for the market and thereby benefit the country in the long run. Ajak Mangut, CGTN, Abuja.